السلام عليكم uh, how are you i'm your senior teacher uh, i hope uh, all of you doing well today inshallah we'll continue explaining and describing our lesson lesson three energy transfer intelligence which is in unit one the objective for today is to explore the relationship between mass velocity and momentum momentum today inshallah we will identify it and explain it and know what is the relation between momentum and the inertia which is was uh, our lesson again our lesson vocabulary word you have to practice on it you have to try to write it collagens conservation of energy and energy transfer i add for you inertia because it's a new word for you and momentum which is our lesson focus on it today let us revise the meaning of inertia and collagens inertia and collagens which is mean the tendency or the ability of an object to stay in motion if it's moving or stay at rest if it's at rest so if we have two objects for example one object is moving like car and you inside the car if the car stops suddenly you will continue moving forward because your inertia because inertia keep you in motion in this situation so to be safe you have to wear your seat belt this seat belt can resist the inertia and reduce the motion of you reduce the force we will explore explain more in the next picture next slide look an object stay in motion with the same speed and direction this which is inertia inertia mean an object stays in motion with the same speed and direction unless expect f acted by an external force so if the this box on this car stay in motion if the car move uh, the same speed and same direction if the car is stopped by external force something is stopped this car by a press brake or by a collide by another object what happened to this object it will continue moving due to its inertia so again this object which is over the uh, car will continue moving even if the car stopped because of its inertia inertia which is mean keep the object in motion if it's in motion look here another example for example your shop cart it's moving on the ram it's moved in specific speed and specific uh, uh, direction it's stay in motion look here we are talking about this items this things this object which is inside inside the uh, shopping cart if something is stopped this shopping cart what's happened to the object which is inside it it will continue moving why do you it's inertia because inertia keep it to move nothing stop it nothing resist its inertia nothing reduce the force of it nothing change its motion so the object the objects which is inside the shopping cart continue moving due to due to its inertia okay look at this picture you can see picture for a kid he is trying he's trying to wear the seat belt you know that seat belts help us to be safe help us to reduce our inertia help us to resist the inertia help us to change the motion of, uh, of an object also seat belt can stop the movement of you if the car if you are uh, riding a car or you are in the car and the car is suddenly or stopped quickly and instead of you continue moving forward and you will uh, this will affect you and your health 
the seat belt will reduce your inertia stop you and uh, resist the inertia to stay in your place instead of moving forward so seat belts very important don't forget to wear it every time when you ride a car or uh, um, move from one place to another place by using car look here the important relationship between mass inertia and energy if an object has more mass that means this object has more inertia this object need more energy again the relationship between mass inertia and energy look here more mass mean uh, uh, there is more inertia that mean more energy is needed to stop an object that is moving more force need to apply it to stop you so you have to know this relationship again more mass more inertia more energy is needed if less mass if we have small object with less mass or little mass that means this object has less inertia that means this object need less energy to stop it when it's moving okay do you think can we measure how easy or difficult to stop a moving object yes we can this measurement of how easy or difficult it is to stop a moving object is called momentum which is a new word a new term uh, for you momentum okay if momentum is measurement that means can be calculated how can we calculate it this momentum do you think depends on what in next slide here you can see that momentum depend on mass and the speed mass and the speed of an object look this p mean momentum equal mass multiplying by velocity velocity which is mean speed with direction again momentum is measurement it's measure what it's measure how easy or difficult for stopping an object that's moving by stop an object that's moving that's called momentum momentum is related to inertia inertia momentum can be measured how easy or difficult it is to stop moving object how can we measure it how can we calculate it by using this equation which is me uh, uh, equal momentum equal mass multiplying by velocity so momentum depends on mass and the speed to know how difficult or easy to stop this moving object we have to know how much its mass and how much its speed which it's more or less and we have to compare the mass and the speed of each object to know its momentum to know the difficulty of moving of stopping the moving of an object okay please open your book at page 49 the title of this page momentum and collagens again like what we said momentum as measurement look it's measure measurement how easy or difficult it's uh, is it to stop a moving object please highlight it read it many times to keep it in your mind here continue momentum can be calculated by multiplying the mass and velocity of an object so if we increase the mass and the speed that's mean momentum is increased by increasing mass and uh, velocity if we decrease the mass and velocity that's mean we'll decrease the momentum that's mean we need this force to stop a moving object so please highlight these two important lines the definition of momentum and how can we calculate it it depends on what the relationship if we increase speed and velocity look at this picture in your book there's 
um, number of uh, cars. I think they are collide to each other. Uh, we can look here. What's written under this picture? Momentum depends on mass and velocity. These cars have different mass, different velocity. So each car has different momentum depend on its mass and velocity. Please follow with me. You have a question in your book, page 49. Let us solve it together. Read the question. Let us read it together. Why is it important to wear a seat belt when you are in a moving vehicle or a moving car? Why is it important? Yes, think, 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 think. Let us answer it together. Please write the answer with me. Because seat belt, yes, seat belt prevent, prevent what? prevent me or prevent you from continuing yes to move where to move forward why why you will move forward without seat belt Mm -hmm. Do you too? My inertia, excellent. So to prevent this movement or to prevent ourselves move forward due to our inertia, we have to wear the seat belt. This if the car stop. suddenly or quickly good job here correct write it in small letters don't forget to write it in small letters yes I hope you understand our lesson if you have any question write it send it to me you can Call me or send a message or mail to uh, ask anything you want about our lesson. Goodbye.